I would love to have my very own AK-47, but I'm too poor to afford it. LOL imagine not owning an AK-47 you actual noob. Why I, 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 I... Has this ever happened to you? Well look no further because I'm going to be showing the best ways to earn those sweet gravids to flex on all the pros. What the hell? So sit back, relax, and enjoy this in-depth guide on nearly every job in the game. The first job I'll be covering is good old recycling. If you ask me, this job is very easy to pick up, if you know what I mean. If you don't know, I already have a full video on trash picking, so watch that if you haven't already. But to summarize, the best places to find trash are usually in wide open spaces like beaches. But the thing about beaches is usually, you're not the only person scavenging for trash. So you're going to have to fight your way through to make sure nobody steals your precious tires. If there are too many people on the beaches, your best bet will be to roam around Southridge. Trash picking in Southridge is amazing, because most of the time there are very few people recycling there, which makes it a very relaxing experience. And while you're down here you can also farm the excessive amount of mushrooms that spawn. I'm not going to cover mushrooms in its own category, as it's very similar to trash picking, but if you really want lots of mushrooms, I'd recommend going to these areas circled in blue. But you should always have your mushroom knife on one of your hotkeys just in case, because mushrooms sell for a lot. The next job I'll be talking about is the delivery job. This job is more for new players than regular players. It's quite easy to learn. Go to any post office, talk to the guy at the desk and hope that your destination isn't in Southridge. It basically comes down to RNG. Sometimes your destination is right next to the post office, and sometimes it's on the other side of the map. People usually do this job alongside picking up trash, which in my opinion is the best thing to do if you're just starting out. You get around 18 to 23 dollars for every mail delivered, which is a decent amount of money for new players. If you're not a new player however, you can use fast transport items like the jetpack or a motorcycle to get to your destination quicker. That's all there really is to say about this job, it's basically car missions for people that can't afford cars. <laughs> the next job I'll be discussing is digging. Digging may be confusing for the new player, but they'll figure it out eventually. Like trash picking, I have made a full video on digging as well, so check that out if you haven't already. First off, I'd suggest wearing a gas mask while digging, to prevent people like Roland from ruining your day. I'm going to share a few tips and tricks to make digging easier for you. Digging behind the benches will make any crabs that spawn unable to move, so you can kill them from a safe distance. Instead of buying shovels for growlets, it's much more profitable to buy them from the trade tables. One shovel can usually go for about 3 tro, but sometimes you can get them cheaper for like 1 for 2.5 and maybe even 1 for 2. If you're only digging to make money, whatever you do, don't sell your trotches. Instead, trade them in for other shells. One trotches is one sand or scallop, and arrows is one for two. Selling these shells instead gives you so much extra money, so you can't forget this when selling your shells. I don't get it. Next up is car missions. Car missions are basically a better version of the delivery job. You get paid around $60 for every mission, which is quite a lot compared to the delivery job. Car missions is definitely up there with the best jobs in the game. I actually did this job to grind for my ACR, and it took me like 4 days. If you want to do a car mission, you will need to find an NPC. Lots of people tend to use this NPC to start their missions, and I don't blame them. First of all the pickup spot is always at Mercy West Hospital, which is right next to the NPC, and the destination is usually only a road away. But the problem with this spot is that it's in a PK zone, 
and lots of people camp it while you're trying to get a mission. That's why I tend to use this NPC in start, because he's in a non-PK zone and not many people use him. You can also use this guy that's in the fashion shop at start, and this guy next to the casino, but this spot gets camped as well. If you're just starting out however, you will need to grind at least 3000 gradits to buy your own car, which can be quite intimidating for the new player. But it's a very good job, and buying a car early on will be worth your money. All in all, this job is for a certain type of people. If you can put up with being killed and having your mission reset, this job is for you. In my opinion it's the most entertaining job in the game, but you should try it yourself to see if you like it or not. Speedy Pizza is widely considered the best job in the game, and there's a reason for that. But first, we will need to go over the progression of this job. When you're just starting out, you only have access to the regular rooms. These rooms have the ingredients very far from the tables, so making pizzas is rather slow. But you will have to put up with these, until you craft your first 3000 pizzas, which you will then move on to veterans. Rooms in Veteran Speedy Pizza are optimized for pizza baking efficiency. There are 4 different levels in this building. The 3000 Pizza Room, the 4500 Pizza Room, the 7000 Pizza Room and the 12500 Pizza Room. Out of all of these, I would say that the 12000 Room is definitely the best, because the ovens cook twice as fast as the other rooms. Although the pizzas in this room don't give you as much money as other rooms, most still consider this room the best. However, if you don't have 12,000 pizzas crafted, your best bet will probably be the 3,000 pizza room, specifically in these spots, because there is a straight line between the cheese and the pizza, making it very easy to craft. By the way, the types of toppings you put on your pizza do not affect the amount of money you gain, so putting only cheese on your pizza is fine. I hope this puts into perspective how overpowered this job really is, and how no other job can even compare. What happened? Where am I? You are underground. Who said that? It was me. I'm sorry but are you a guy or a girl? You have made the terrible mistake of placing pizza baking as the number one spot. Is it not the best job? Silence. Do you really think that making pizzas is the best way to get rich? What else could it be? Look around you Plututo. At first glance, this job may seem terrible. The sluggish speed that you mine at makes it such a tedious task. But there is one overlooked aspect by new players. Mining in Grohl has a leveling up system, where the higher your mining level is, the faster you can mine rocks, which means at max level you can mine rocks very, very, fast. But getting to max level is no easy task, it requires some serious dedication. There is a forum that tells you the time it takes to get to each level, it's quite helpful. In the end to get to max level it would take you around 2 months of non-stop mining to get from level 0 to level 99. So considering you mine for 3 hours a day, every day, it would take you around 1.3 years to get to max level. But hey, if you think you have what it takes to get to max level, then go ahead. I will now go over some tips and tricks to make mining more bearable and efficient. You should try to find a 90 degree corner like this one to mine in. It's much easier because you don't have to move your character each time you mine a rock, you can just mine the adjacent wall. This job can get extremely boring. I usually use a mini player to watch YouTube while mining, or you can listen to music or a podcast. This makes it much less boring than tapping a button every 10 seconds 4 hours at a time. Every now and then, the mine starts collapsing. To stop it from collapsing and eventually killing you, you need to exit and re-enter the mine. But there's a way to stop it without leaving your spot. Firstly, pull out any melee weapon. Next, enter your house and wait there for a few seconds. Finally, exit your house and the collapsing should stop. I learned this trick from Poopy Panda's mining guide, which I'd highly recommend watching if you're interested. 
I must say, I am now very experienced in mining. You are literally level 4. In all seriousness, mining is the most rewarding thing you can do in Growl. If you want a more in-depth guide, there are some good ones on YouTube. I see you have finally understood the true power of my- Why are you still here? So it seems that you have made it to the end of the video. I know I haven't uploaded in over a year, because Growl got boring for me. But maybe you can expect more videos coming out. I can't 100% assure you that I'll be coming back, but chances are, I'll make some more content for you guys. Thank you all for watching.